Okay. Today, while I was watching Trisha Tanaka is Dead, episode number 10 of season 3, my mind started going on about something that really bothered me about that episode. When the meteorite hit Mr. Klux in the flashback with Hurley, it only hit the building. Hurley and his former boss were right in the parking lot and didn't get hurt. There was just like a little poof. And some flames. That's it. It killed Trisha Tanaka, her cameraman. And, I don't know, I don't think anyone else was in the building. And just hit the building. Nothing else. Not even the parking lot. The building just went up in flames and that was it. And so, that made me start to think. Was it because Jacob had already chosen him? Because we saw in season six that Jacob had in his lighthouse you know, the little mirror in which he could see people. It only showed us Jack, but I'm assuming that he could do that with everybody else too and see where they were. And so before he actually physically went and touched everybody, they must have already been chosen. And so, let's pretend that if Jacob chooses you, you have this little protective umbrella around you, above you, protecting you. And nothing bad can happen to you. Well, bad things can happen. You just, you cannot die when Jacob's umbrella is on you. You can't. And so, I started thinking about Hurley. And then I tried to think of other characters who have had near-death experiences, who should have died and didn't. And that made me think about Jack. After Jack got off the island, he became an alcoholic and was addicted to Oxycontin. I think it was Oxycontin. He never OD'd. Nothing bad ever happened with the combination of pills and booze. <laughs> they were off the island for three years. If you were a chronic abuser like Jack, I think something would have happened to you by then. Yeah, so that is number two. Then there's Kate. Now, with Kate, it's kind of different, because Jacob went and saw her when she was a kid, versus everyone else once they were an adult. I don't think he touched anyone else when they were a child, besides Sawyer. And so, Kate is just a criminal on the run. That's her. She's been in gunfights. You saw that in one of the episodes. I don't remember which one. I think it was in season one, actually. When her best friend got killed in her car. She's always in gunfights. What's up with that? And nothing ever hits her. I think she's gotten a couple scrapes, and that's it. Nothing bad has happened. Never. Um, I count that as some near-death experiences. So that is three. And then my fourth one is Claire. When Claire was younger, I don't know, like, in the show, is she supposed to be, like, in her 20s? Like, mid-early 20s? Okay, well, when she was a teenager... Um, she was in a car accident with her mother. When, you know, when she had the long black hair and was all almost goth-like. That crash put her mother in a coma and her in a sling. Really? I mean, I don't know. I haven't been in a car accident. Just little one got rear-ended. But... One person ends up in a coma, and the other with a dislocated shoulder? Broken arm, maybe? Fractured? Gets a sling. And her mother is in a coma. I don't know. So maybe, yet again, Jacob's a little protective umbrella. Okay, either I'm onto something here, or I am totally insane and spend too much time thinking about Lost. Yes, 
I just wanted to bring a few of those up. I'm sure there's more, but just tried to do some thinking real fast, and those are the four I came up with. So yeah, um, leave me a comment telling me what you think, what your theories are about this little no-dying phenomenon. Okay, well, thank you. Remember to visit me at perpetuallylost.webs.com. Toodles! Thank you.